Hello there. So good evening. Uh, it's actually midnight now over here. So <clears throat> Hello there. we have uh, today in the afternoon uh, stream. I <clears throat> did the underpainting and basically blocked in the background uh, and finish this just blocking in the yellow horse the whitish creamish horse and the cream horse now uh, the goal is tonight i have to finish the rest of the blocking process so that i can uh, i can by the time i get up tomorrow morning it's all hopefully dry <clears throat> i know white takes more time to dry than Burnt umber, as you can see, burnt umber is already dry to touch, but my, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not uh, <clears throat> dry, it's, it's, it's wet. So hopefully by tomorrow morning, I think it should be dry, but let's see. But the uh, goal for this stream is to just cover up the rest of the horses and just block in that area. So... I have my palette, I have my primary colors, uh, this is French ultramarine blue, this is alizarin crimson, uh, this is cadmium yellow, this is, those are the, my primary colors and then I'm using uh, titanium white and burnt umber as well. So this color mixing um, I learned from watching Draw Mix Paint, uh, that one video has so much knowledge, oh my god I can't recommend it enough. So now uh, the way that I look at it is I can see that this horse over here uh, I think I'm gonna start with this horse and then uh, a darker color can come to the horse right at the bottom uh, and then maybe I'll, I might move to the orange one and probably I'm gonna do the blue one at the very end so right now I'm gonna look at mixing this matching that color um, and uh, I have some re remaining paint, very little remaining paint of this color. I think I'm just gonna start off with that one, add some brown to it. And I see some yellow as well. So, um, It has a slight hint of orange tinge to it, so I think I'm going to add some red. Not a lot. Some of the alizarin crimson. Ah, it became too much probably. This might be, I don't know where I'm going with this color, but uh, let's see. Some more yellow. I think I'm there with the, almost there with the color. I think I have to just add some white to dull it down and I think I have the color again over here we are not really looking at the exact color uh, match we're just looking at the values and i think uh, the value is pretty accurate so to test my values i have a second let me get done with this uh, 
If you check values, I typically need to squint a lot. So I'm going to place my swatch of color right beside, uh, I think mine is darker, uh, right beside the monitor just and I spin my eyes to see if it matches and I can see that very evidently it is a shade darker. So I think I'm going to add some more white to it. Maybe this might be good enough, probably because I'm going to use turpentine, uh, sorry, my own medium that I created with uh, two parts of turpentine mixed with one part of sand oil. Um, I think this is enough, but we, I, I'll get to know in a moment. Let's dip into my painting medium. All right. Does it need to be a tad bit? So I, I, I have almost recreated the same color that I have on my canvas. I think it needs to be a slightly more orangish, slightly just, but it, it but just very slightly more orangish. So uh, I'm going to take very, very teeny tiny bit of this red, alizarin crimson, and that is it. And then I'm going to mix some more of the yellow. To make it slightly more dark, I'm adding some burnt umber to it. I think I have nailed this color. I think this is spot on. Yep. No, again, uh, we are doing the underpaintings over here. We are not going to be concerned about the details. So if you overlap with uh, some of the blacks that I already have on my canvas, which I did when I was sketching. Uh, it's totally okay. Because uh, on top of this layer of the underpainting after the blocking in stage, that is when I'm going to have my final layer of uh, most probably my final layer. I don't know, maybe I might have to come back and glaze it. Uh, glaze the painting but at least till now from what I've planned I am going to cover this entire painting with uh, uh, just block in and then probably I'm going to have one layer on top of it which is going to be my uh, actual layer 
which is going to have the final colors. Because this is just the blocking in phase, I think it's pretty fine if if I am going over some of the details. Because now again, like we are not going to be bothered by details. We're gonna uh, we're not going to be bothered by the exact details. I think that's going to happen once this underpainting is dry. That is when I'm gonna uh, when I'm painting. The final layer that is when I'm gonna go into the details and I'm gonna see if my painting is uh, matching in color, color accuracy and as well as value. Right now, I'm just concerned about the value uh, because if I if I get my values right, I, most of my work is done. Now, uh, this painting medium, I created it myself by mixing uh, stand oil, uh, one part stand oil to two parts of digital turpentine. Uh, and this is the first, okay, uh, this painting is the first painting that I'm using this medium on. And uh, I don't know how it behaves in, in that, uh, uh, what the drying times are. So, this is kind of my experimentation with the medium. And uh, so for the for the black sketching that I did, I used this medium, but mostly I used liquid original, uh, and that was my first time using liquid original as well. And uh, I I was pretty happy with the way liquid original uh, is. Uh, so so I had our local. So I'm from India, and uh, and we have our. Uh, our own what do you call um, brand of paints very famous brand of paints uh, it's camel camelin and uh, and they make i don't know what exactly it is it might be a liquid uh, it might be kind of like liquid but they make camly gel i don't know if it is an alkyd resin but i did use it and i was um uh, not really satisfied in that it it was not it did say faster drying times but by the time i uh, by the time in the morning after i had gotten up it was still not dry to touch while liquid had dried really quickly so yeah i think uh, yeah i think this thoughts is done i think i just need to uh, go over remove uh, the um, remove the paint that i have on the eye uh, so and again this is the reason why i love oils is because um, the medium is really really forgiving in that uh, you can go over it once and and most importantly once the painting is dry you can just go over it with anything and mistakes typically when it's wet you can just rub them off so i i really love that uh, flexibility that oil gives me okay uh, so yeah i think uh, that that looks uh, pretty good accurate in value uh, so i think we're going to have to now uh, now mix paint for this it's going to be more orangey than that horse. Uh, maybe I need to take out some more over here. I covered some of the blacks. All right. Yep. That's pretty good. Again, we're not really, I'm not really worried about covering up the blacks because we're gonna 
So once once the blocking in phase is done, I'm, I, I might have to go over with the dark outline once more. Maybe, maybe not. I, I, I have to think about it. But at least till now, I think I have almost all of my um, outlines in, still in good shape. All right, so let's. Let's mix uh, more darker color. So this is pretty good, but I think I need even more darker. I think I'm going to use all of this as well. Uh, it's a pretty big horse. Uh, so I might need some, a lot of paint. So I think that's a good starting point. I'm going to need some, I th so my color is more orangey. Sorry, the horse is more orangey than my color that I have on my palette. So I'm going to add some crimson and some yellow. And then I am gonna take my test paper, uh, just make a swatch, swatch, and let's see if I can, if it matches accurately. I think it's okay. Because uh, by the time I dilute it with my medium, I think it's gonna it's gonna reach the correct consistency of color that I want. I think it needs to be a little bit more orangey. It is very near to, in value to the one that I have already. Um, let me see. A little bit more, more orangey, yes, definitely, definitely a little bit more orange. So. Some teeny tiny alizarin crimson with some cad yellow. I think this is, I think this is okay. Yeah, I think so. Hi, hi, Brucey, Brucer. How are you? How are you doing today?
Okay, so now Yeah, like uh, there's no like there's no it is just a constant I think it's just a constant uh, color that's it uh, just be careful I just need to be a little bit careful with the outlines that's it The chat is broken. Okay, I I do not know. It's just me streaming, and uh, I have absolutely no clue if the chat is broken. Uh, I am sorry if I am not uh, replying to your chats. Um, so it's quite difficult to stream and see the chat at the same time and paint. So. I apologize if if I'm unable to read the chat. So today in the afternoon, um, when I was doing the underpainting, uh, the background and the underpainting, um, I was, I think I, I made this color over here for this horse, a little bit too whitish, maybe I'm Mm, I, I again I do not know if I should come back and change it because again this is still the underpainting phase wherein I should not really con get concerned about uh, the detail however I, I I I have to like once I fill up this horse this orange horse I think I'll get an accurate value uh, on uh, accurate idea on the value of that part of the painting So what game is Astroneer, Bruce? Can I know that? Is it an online multiplayer game? I, I, I absolutely do not play games. So like uh, the last game that I played was uh, uh, Civilization VI. No, I, uh, yeah, yeah, like, like uh, uh, and I played Katan, the board game, but uh, you're talking it's a space game all right cool multiplayer is it is it just pc or, or is it on xbox or ps4 ps5 right now Space games that I have, I have seen uh, Subnautica, Jacksepticeye I play Subnautica and yeah, that's, that's, that's my only uh, reference that I have for for some kind of a space game. Oh, cool! It is. It is. It, ha it is. All, it is on all platforms. Wow! I didn't know that. I might check that game out. I, I am pretty sure I am not gonna play it. I do. <laughs> uh, I am not really an avid gamer. But yeah, thanks for joining the stream, and thanks for commenting.
Yeah, like Subnautica, like I love Jacksepticeye Jack Septica, I play Subnautica. I myself have not played it though, but I did like his stream. All right, my camera just shut off. Ah, uh, probably because it overheated. So let's see. So I have a very old uh, Canon 550D which I am using EOS webcam utility to stream and uh, and uh, and because it's so hot in India right now it just gets overheated and it just uh troubles me but uh it, it but although the I, I i can give credit to canon that although it is overheated the the camera does turn on fairly quickly after that so now again my camera is back up again it is overheating i don't know if it's gonna if the camera is gonna die die on me one day on uh, during the live stream but uh, until that day i i choose to abuse it Oh, Astroneer is a cross cross platform game. Cool. So the like again, I have not played uh, any cross platform games, but I know a couple of my friends play Destiny. Okay, that's that's going pretty well. Uh, I think my color is pretty accurate. At least the value of it is pretty accurate. So I I do not have to worry about the accuracy of the color. I think even the color accuracy is also pretty accurate. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna do this body yeah all right uh, have fun brucey thanks for joining the stream have a good day. Okay, that triangle is going to be orange. So I think I'm just going to get done with this so that I do not have, I, I do not confuse myself and paint this little teeny tiny triangle, uh, this color, because that's going to have to be orange. Okay. Now, I do not have to worry about it. Again, I'm using very, 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 very little painting medium. Um, just to make the pin paint a slightly more runnier. And again, the hope is it's uh, because it's a quick drying medium, because it has two parts of turpentine, that it is going to get dry by the time I get up tomorrow morning so that I can paint over it with the actual layer of painting. And because this is just the underpainting, maybe I should use liquid original, but again, this is a learning experience. I'm going to get to know if uh, this medium is not that quick drying, especially in the white parts. Then uh, again, in my next painting, I'm going to learn from this experience and I'm going to incorporate liquid original to my painting medium as well.
yeah yeah pretty good so far good you put me on my tv wow thank you how is the quality so i am uh, actually live on uh, on uh, reddit and i'm using restream.io uh, using which i am uh, live streaming to youtube and on twitch as well but i don't think there are any uh, viewers over there uh, i hardly have any subscribers but i just i'm so i basically i got some new equipment the microphone i'm using is uh, is new uh, the the camera is is pretty old i just took it out and i decided to live stream with it using it so so if i like doing this uh, maybe i can buy some new equipment and continue doing it but let's see but yeah this is just like me doing something you know uh, because i wanted to paint this anyways and i was like okay might as well stream it live and see if anyone wants to watch it they can if otherwise it's just for fun anyways so yeah all right uh, and then i have my uh, okay this part is done that part is done that is going to be blue so i have and also like when i typically paint it, it helps me it's kind of like art therapy uh, it just me it it keeps it keeps me in a good mood um i uh, what do you call like there's so much clutter going on in the head and and when i'm painting i'm in the zone uh, basically not thinking about any other stuff um i'm quite happy painting so that is also one of the reasons why i thought like okay fine i can definitely stream uh, and put out some good vibes to the world so yeah rusi that's totally fine like uh, everyone hates their lives is just you know we just get along with it uh yeah like do a like let's not get into the state of the affairs of the world but yeah it's it's totally fine and that see that is the whole point that i'm trying to say like i i paint because it like it helps me not think about a lot of stuff which is out of is beyond my control and um, and yeah like it just i am just here in this moment right here trying to enjoy basically painting this and all of my concentration is just on this painting so that i can get my you know colors right the values accurate uh, and and learn and again like i am a self taught painter i just started painting uh during the covid lockdown actually and i was like okay this seems to be my cup of tea it is bringing me peace of mind and quiet and calm and i was like okay i definitely can persevere with it and yeah so i i originally started off painting bob ross's paintings and uh, that was an amazing experience uh, because so, so my total um, motivation came from the fact that bob ross says anyone can paint and i i kind of binge watched his videos even before i picked up the brush and and the way in which the ease with which he tells and the confidence with which he tells you know to pick up a brush that did wonders basically for me uh, that gave me confidence i was like okay fine why not why not like i'm i've seen so many of his videos i was like okay fine let me give it a try just let me give it a shot it is not that expensive to buy um, like paint it is definitely time consuming i'm i'm not going to deny that however um, 
the, the the pros the benefits at least for me outweighed you know any other uh, uh, decision which is basically like I, I i can spend time online you know waste hours and hours together on reddit on youtube on social media on instagram on facebook whatever but um, but again all of that social media was again making me feel very anxious so um so i was i had to find some other ways to engage myself uh, i was not reading much so i picked up painting and uh, that's the end of the story i really liked it and uh, yeah I've been persevering and then I found some really really beautiful uh, YouTube tutorials like all for free oh my god the amount of knowledge that's there on YouTube seriously hats off to those people thank you tricks with the taco so yeah like um and yeah i started painting i did uh, uh and and uh, there is a really good subreddit happy trees oh my god they are so supportive over there uh, i asked them for help with regards to my foliage um some brilliant people giving some amazing advice on how to improve the technique especially like with bob ross's technique uh they are pretty awesome uh and then and then yeah like i've been experimenting with different styles uh so this is one of those basically over here the, the, the challenge with this painting is uh this is the first time that i'm using primary colors to mix my colors meaning i had a box set of colors which had sap green in it which has uh, just a whole bunch of colors in it and uh, and those were the colors that i used to paint bob ross paintings uh, i have not mixed my own colors till now and uh, and i learned mixing colors by watching draw mix paint again that video i can't recommend it enough the color mixing video by draw mix paint oh my god he is a godsend because the amount of knowledge that i learned by just watching him for those 30 minutes i don't know if i would have learned it if i had if i had not found that video so again just persevere uh, we can pull through friendly fig thanks for the silver all right people who are uh, watching the stream please subscribe to my um, insta or follow me on reddit uh, my instagram is there on the on 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 the page itself it's uh, instagram is perla abhinav raj uh, the same thing works for uh, youtube as well for uh twitch as well so yeah like if you want to like share subscribe you know the usual you know you can do that i'll be honored and if you like my content definitely you know you can you can come back all right i think we are done with uh this horse as well i think the color matches pretty accurately maybe it should be slightly lighter maybe but um, mm, i think i think it's okay maybe slightly lighter very a teeny tiny bit lighter but it's okay we can we can make make do with this because this is still the underpainting make like in my final painting i can you know make those changes now i just want to use my so this is not a paper towel it is a shop towel uh, now again this was uh, recommended by another youtuber um, kevin oil paint again all of these youtubers i i do not know them in 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 life personally but i do i have seen their videos for such a long time just so that i can learn that uh, their way of painting again the this blue shop towel was recommended by kevin oil paint because the regular paper towel just flakes away this is uh, really really robust 
so that is really good for like say if i make a mistake i can just rub it down i can take all that paint and and it's not going to leave any residue on the on on the canvas so that's the best part of the shop towel okay we are done with the horse uh let's do the orange one next and then uh the blue one yep okay so for orange um, i am going to move this to this corner i might need it tomorrow when i uh, you know start to okay so it's really bright orange i do have a uh, cadmium orange with me however i would like to like i said uh, this is the first time i'm mixing colors just using primary colors so i think i'm going to stick with that throughout this painting and uh, yeah some yellow some alizarin crimson okay that's a pretty vibrant orange maybe i need to mix some more yellow to it Majnu bhai, Bhavya, thank you. Yeah, like, <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely. I would like to reach the levels of Majnu bhai. I think it's welcome movie, right? Samira, thank you for the wholesome award. B G H F H, nice style. So this style is not my original style. This is a master study. I am uh, copying a master. Uh, in the hopes of learning you know uh, oil painting so this painting originally was done by mf hussain he is an indian uh, painter oil painter and he he hails from my city so yeah and this is kind of like my 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 take on you know his original painting i'm trying to recreate it as as accurately as possible but let's see how it goes i have my orange is it how like okay uh maybe 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 we can go ahead with it let's see i'm using the same brush um yeah you can call me lazy <laughs> i hate to like uh, wash my brushes so because again this this uh, orange is very close to this color so basically what i did was i went with uh, so this this was again in the afternoon i i did this horse the, the whitish horse again which is way too white or maybe i need to get it a little bit yellow i used the same brush for this cream colored horse then i used the same brush because again these two colors are pretty close by so i used the same brush over there and now because these two colors are almost similar again i used the same brush So I'm using the same brush for the orange. I think my orange is a tad um, not orangey enough. That is really, really vibrant orange that um, M. F. Hussain has on his uh, original painting. So I think I'm gonna make it more orangey. Basically, uh, just mix red and alizarin crimson and cad yellow. yeah i think that color is is accurate again like uh, so in the draw mix paint video that i'm referring to uh, which taught me how to mix oil paints uh, oil colors to get the color uh, to mix the paint the three primary pigments and white and burnt umber to mix to get the paint that we want he does go into it and he tells that um, some colors that some really really vibrant colors might not be achieve, achievable with his uh, uh with his method of you know mixing however he he has another video on it where he goes on to showcase that almost all of the 
colors are achievable with his method there are only few really really vibrant ones that require a specific color so okay still not orangey na what do i do what do i do maybe painting with that brush is a mistake because it has a whole bunch of white in it so okay let's let's make orange with the brush itself so i have my yeah and yeah I think this is a little bit more red, so more yellow. All right. I think that's pretty close enough right now. Let's see. Let me check the value map. So I have a just a piece of paper wherein I create some tiny swashes, and then I place it near my monitor, and I squint to see if the values match. Um, I think they are matching. So okay, let's go ahead again. Let's not worry about it too much because it's just the underpainting. It's okay if you are uh, off. How has your day been everyone? I hope it's been a good day. And to those of you who are who are just starting their day, have a good day. I know that's supposed to be at the end of the stream, but I don't know how long you're going to stick around for my stream uh because again, I can be quite boring. Uh so yeah, have a good day. See over here when I'm covering it, I'm least bothered if uh, some of my paint is going into the blacks because see the point is it needs to like so if I if I leave some of it like uh, what I mean by that is if I leave that um, I am mixing too much of the black if my paint my orange paint is going over too much of the black and if I am too careful I might leave some parts of the canvas uncovered especially at, at the very corners and that is where we need total coverage. So it's totally fine if some of the paint goes over the blacks because see again the point of like I I will come back with uh, come back with that shop shop towel and I'm gonna go over the blacks and I remove and I will remove uh, the excess orange paint if it is gone over the black like for example I have painted completely over the eye but I'm gonna remove it. And this part, it's totally fine if it if it is get if it is getting covered because see the point is, I am going to come over again with another layer of the orange and another layer of the black, so it's totally fine. This part is going to be orange, so I think I'm going to just lock that in before I forget it. Uh -huh. 
uh -huh. now you i can see like it is quite close in value actually i must have gotten it more I, I i probably should have gotten it more brighter i probably should have painted this triangle first and then squinted my eyes to see the values but oh well what's done is done Right. Uh, was done with this. All right, we have finished the orange horse as well. So now I'm going to use my shop towel and I'm going to do the eye first. Just remove some of the paint to show the black of the eye. And then do this something very similar for uh, over here, the, the, this part over here and here. All right, now it's just blue. I'm just left with the blue. And yep, yeah, uh, I'm gonna move all of this paint here. Maybe I might not. I might not use it, but just you know, let it be there until tomorrow or whenever my underpainting dries. Okay, so now because I'm gonna be mixing blue. And uh, and uh, orange is complementary to blue. I need to be pretty clear with uh, with regards to you know not mixing by even by mistake uh, the the orange paint with blue because then it, it the blue is not going to be that vibrant. So I'm gonna use a paper towel, just some random newspaper, and you know. Take out as much paint as possible, you know, just by rubbing it in. All right, you're done. And then the blue. Thank you everyone for commenting. Uh, now the blue horse that I have over there is not exactly like I, I have uh, the primary blue which is the French ultramarine. Now now this is very very vibrant. I don't think I need this vibrance, I, it needs to be dirty. So I am going to use this color right here and I'm going to make it dirty. Now, 
Now my blue is now the paint on. Okay, my camera just died on me. Um, I need to. So okay, so uh, the stream has been going on for quite some while. Uh, so time for a, like you know a water break, uh, and and in the meantime the camera is gonna cool down, and I can turn it back on. So yeah, some waste papers are lying around. Let me clean that up. It's summer everyone hydrate yourself and it's especially hot over here in India and uh, yeah so keep yourself hydrated everyone I have another worry that is bugging me basically so what what I'm doing is I have a jar of uh, painting medium that I made myself. It has uh, one part stand oil to two parts of turpentine. And uh, I did not want to use uh, this painting medium directly because it's going to get dirty because I'm going to use some dirty brushes to dip in. So what I did was I took uh, this painting medium and I just dropped teeny tiny bit of it into into another container now this container is, is probably not airtight so i'm a little skeptical if the turpentine has evaporated and it is just hand oil and if that is what has happened then i'm in for a big fix because all of this area especially even the wipes have been done with this and if it is just hand oil it's going to take a long time to dry off so only tomorrow morning when I get up, it's going to be, you know, a truth reveal wherein I'll be like, okay, now is it dry to touch? Is it not? So, yeah, let's see. All right. So, I am turning on my camera. Are we back? All right, we are back. Cool. Nice. So, yeah, my blue is dirty now. I think I need a little bit more blue. I think that was too dirty. I wanted to get some of that richness of the blue back. Some more. Now, this paint is runny already because it has good amount of oils in it already. I don't, I like, uh, like maybe if I'm just painting out of the tube, I think this paint is good consistency while some of the paints that I have are pretty thick. Again, this is for, uh, you know, uh, because now I'm doing the underpainting, I need. Uh, uh, fluid paint so that I can cover enough enough can enough part of the canvas with uh, paint and if it is thicker it's gonna be difficult cover okay I have a pretty good blue maybe I add some white to it and see how it goes uh, maybe not maybe I'll mix this whole thing Yep, I think I got the color that I needed. I think so. So okay, now I'm gonna use a clean brush. So I, so I have my. So these are all the brushes that I used today. Uh, this red brush was done for the black background. This black brush was done for this part of the background. Uh, yellow brush for that, and then all of these were done on a single brush. So time for another brush. 
uh, let's see what do I have I have uh, number 10 that's too big number no four is too small I need a six but I need a six in I need a six kind of a five or a six will do I have okay I have a seven okay seven works okay so I have a seven thank you everyone thank you dead writer thank you Sigma suplex for your comments Thank you again. This painting is 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 not an original. It uh, it's not. I this is not my original creation. This is just I'm just copying uh, a really famous person's painting. So thank you for your kind words, and thank you that you like the painting. That you like my painting, my version of it. I'm really honored. Okay, let's. So I see the, the, the face is, is that a good color? Yes, I think that's a good. Ah, the, these are hog bristle and I can, and it is not holding a lot of paint. Okay, let's see. All right, I think I think I got the color pretty good. Now it's just a matter of coverage, and especially with this brush, this brush being so harsh, the bristles being so so harsh, I am I have I am having trouble getting the paint to you know. Thick. And it is very evident that you can see the marks of the bristle. All right. I think this okay. See. All right. Maybe I need some, I might need some more paint or, or, or is it a problem with my brush? I'm unable to decipher it right now because again, this brush is, uh, 
fairly new i have hardly used these brushes so again even this is kind of like a learning experience as to like what brushes i like maybe this is not the right brush for this particular application maybe this is this brush is for might be used for something else Right. but it is it is helping me cover enough ground with it and that is that also really quickly All right. So I'm in trouble now. You know why? Because I'm done with my paint. Now it's going to be a challenge to make the exact same color. So yeah, let's. So that is the reason why I have so much paint on my palette because I don't make that mistake and I have made that mistake. So now I need to get a similar color. Some more orange. Some white, not a lot, but teeny tiny bit. Is that the same blue that I have? I think so. Maybe very tiny bit of white. Yeah. I think that is matching pretty close. Yeah, it is pretty close. Kartik, are you making Majnu Bhai's painting? Yes, yes, I am trying to make Majnu Bhai's painting. Art tricks gives me some, like Samurai Jack vibes. I. I know of Samurai Jack, I have not seen, I have seen maybe, it was so, uh, like, I, I, like, okay, honestly, I don't really, really, really remember watching Samurai Jack, so I can't say anything about it. But yeah, thank you for the comment. So, like uh, the Majnu Bai reference that is being uh, mentioned in the comments is actually, you know, it's a pretty famous uh, Indian Bollywood movie called as Welcome. It's a comedy movie. And uh, in that, I think uh, that guy paints. I have watched that movie, but I don't remember. Uh, I think it's Nana Patekar. Uh, 
No, 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 no. I think it's Anil Kapoor. I think it's Anil Kapoor. Yeah. Okay. Uh, leg. So I think I need to remove some of the, yeah, so like I have painted over the outlines and I can hardly see them because the blue is so overpowering. I can't really see, make out the uh, outlines. I need some reference of an outline so that, you know, uh, once I am done with most of the painting then i think I, I i have to go over it with the final the final thing will be uh, painted final thing that's going to be painted is is going to be the black outlines and 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 for me to be able to maintain the proportions accurately i need to have some clue on where those uh, dark lines are and my blue is kind of eating over it i am unable to see the dark lines clearly so yeah i think this is correct I am not liking this brush however, it is too uh, rigid for my taste. I do have uh, other brushes, it's just that, you know, I'm lazy, I don't want to pay, like, wash my brushes right now, so. Yeah. But otherwise, I have absolutely no complaints. Uh, uh, it is, you are able to uh, cover pretty well. Just this part is remaining and
I think I've got all coverage. From afar, uh, I might need another layer of the blue, but since it's wet, I think I'm not going to do anything today. Uh, maybe tomorrow morning once, right after I get up, maybe I might go over it because I can see some of the, so, ah, see, I see the problem. The French ultramarine is completely transparent and that's the reason why the other, the paint underneath is showing through so but that's okay i i, I again since i'm uh, since this is just the underpainting i think it's pretty fine if the un, if the uh, if the tone of the canvas is showing i think that's okay uh, once it's dry maybe i can go over it with another layer of the same paint same color and hopefully that should be okay otherwise i think i just going to be another final layer but yeah like uh i have come i've covered the entire canvas i have so basically i'm done with my blocking in stage i just need to like make some marks so that i can see my blacks my sketch of i can see my sketch and then uh, Yeah, that, that is probably going to be it for today. Uh, some more. Okay. Oh. All right. And I need to remove the paint on the eye as well. And I think I'm going to remove some. All right. Uh, yeah, that's that's it for today. Uh, the underpainting is completely done. Uh, I'm gonna wait for this whole blog layer to dry, and then once that is completely dry to touch, I'm gonna paint the actual layer of the painting wherein we have uh, all the details. And then at the very end, I'm going to take the black outline all over it at the end. All right. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining in. Uh, please uh, like, share, subscribe. My Instagram is Perla Abhinav Raj. I am, you can find the same handle works for uh, Twitter, for Instagram, for YouTube as well. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, thank you. Have a good day. Have a good night.